wanted to do a video about the CCV filter on a power stroke diesel, a 67 power stroke diesel. Your Ram Cummins, they got one too. Same with your Duramax diesels, they all got a CCV filter. Each truck manufactured is a little bit different. On the Ram Cummins, it's an actual filter that you got to replace every 67,500 miles. On the Ford pickup truck models, it's a little different. The Ford chassis cab models utilizes the same idea as the Ram. It's a filter that you got to replace every X number of miles. On the top of the housing, there are bolts that you can unbolt and you can remove an actual filter. On the pickup truck model, there is no filter. The image you were seeing before you is the internals of a CCV filter on the pickup truck model of a 6.7 Power Stroke. Uh, so I'm going to read this here, crankcase vent oil separator. The crankcase oil separator is attached to the left valve cover. The engine crankcase vent oil separator separates the oil from the crankcase vapors and returns it to the crankcase through the valve cover. The vapors are routed into the intake ducting at the lower intake before the turbo inlet. So basically what this is, it's a large catch can. That's all this is. The vapors come through here, they enter the housing, it is separated, the oil is separated, it goes back into the uh, engine and then the vapors go travel down the hose and then back into the intake. Now what happens with this type of design is a lot of times the oil there, there will be oil residue that travels into the intake. It's, it's going to happen. Um, but the majority of that oil is going to be separated and go back into your, uh, in, through the valve cover. But don't, get, but don't mistake this. Oil will end up into your intake system, into your turb, uh, through the turbo and a little bit into the intercooler and whatnot, but not in large quantities. Um, and this separates that oil from the gases and it, you know, redistributes it back into the uh, engine. So there have been videos of individuals and reports of a CCV filter reroute kit. In some of those videos, there's some comments that say, well, if no, ga if no oil is coming out, why don't you just reroute it back into the intake? Well, there's a problem there. Without something to separate the oil from the gases, um, from the air, essentially, that's coming out of the crankcase, um, if you were to take that, plug it here, and just route it into the intake without a filter or a catch can, what's going to happen is those gases is going to travel through into the uh, turbo, into the intercooler. That intercooler is going to separate the oil from the vapors, from the gases. And instead of that oil having a place to travel back into the, in the engine, that oil is going to collect in the intercooler. That's why you have to have a uh, filter to separate the oil from the gases. Okay, because the gases and the oil, it's combined. It's, just, it's oil, you know, gas vapors, all that stuff. Now, if you do a CCV filter reroute and you just route the hose to the atmosphere, as long as there is nothing in the hose or at the end of the hose, like a small little filter, and I know some people will put a small little filter, particularly on the Cummins diesels, right? Small little filter there. As long as you don't have a filter there, you're not going to get any oil leaks. Because what's happening is, if you reroute the gases straight to the atmosphere without something blocking its way, there is going to be nothing to separate the oil from the gases. So as the gases, as that air, crankcase air comes out, it'll just be vented to the atmosphere. And that's it. You're not going to get any oil leaks. It's not going to... It's not because there's nothing to separate the oil from the crankcase air. Now, if you add a little filter at the end of that hose or have a, something to, you know, let's say prevent, um, I don't know, small creatures from traveling the hose, whatever is in that gas's way, it'll separate the oil from the air. And if you have a filter on there, that little filter is going to collect that oil and then pretty soon it'll be enough where it'll leak. So that's what's happening for those who do a CCV fill filter, reroute, and then you have a little, you have something to separate the air at the end of that hose, and it's going to leak. Because that oil is going to collect in the little filter, and it's going to drip. Or whatever, you know. Um, 
And I highly recommend that you don't just reroute that air from here back into the intake without a filter or a catch can. Essentially, this large filter here is a catch can uh, to separate the oil from there. So I hope this kind of helps people understand why you can't just route the a hose from here back into your intake without a filter. You need this filter to catch the oil and send it back to the engine. Otherwise, your intercooler and your turbo is gonna separate that oil from the gases, and then that oil is just gonna sit there and it's just gonna collect, and you don't want that. For those doing the reroute, don't put anything at the end of that hose. You will be fine, um, and there's not gonna be any oil leaks. So I hope this little video helps someone out.